Welcome back, Outlaws. On today's episode, we're going to be checking out the Afona Pelma Utilenum, also known as the California Ebony Tarantula. So stay tuned. Every year from mid-October to mid-November, these tarantulas come out in the evening in search of a mate. In their journeys, they're extremely slow-moving and are easy prey for predators. This is a mature male looking for love and a lady friend to mate with. The body of the California ebony tarantula comes in various brown tones, ranging from light beige to dark brown and ebony colors. Adult females can reach a leg span of up to 5 inches and live up to 25 years of age. In looking at the different characteristics between the male and the female, the male's abdomen will be slightly smaller and more narrow, whereas the female will have a larger, more round abdomen. The male reaches maturity after 8 to 12 years and leaves its burrow after that in search of a mate. After spending all of its energy on finding a suitable partner, he will die in exhaustion after around six months after reaching adulthood and mating. Like with most tarantulas, this genus is primarily nocturnal, or active at night. Terrestrial, they spend their lives on the ground, and rarely leave their holes in the daylight hours. In fact, they are seldom seen by humans except during mating season. As hunter spiders, or ambush hunters, they do not spin a web to catch their prey. Instead, they string a tiny amount of silk near the entrance of the burrow to detect prey moving by. When the appropriate size prey triggers the silk strand, the tarantula leaves the burrow to make the kill. If larger prey or a human walk by and disturb the strand, the spider knows to burrow further into the hole and wait for the danger to pass. As with most species of tarantula, this spider uses urtication. When threatened, they kick off the spiky hairs on their abdomen towards their assailant, hoping to render them temporarily blind. The females lay eggs in the burrow, and although she does not provide active parental care, the hatchlings remain nearby and get protection from her presence as they move underground to live their mostly solitary lives. The female can lay anywhere from 100 to 1,000 eggs, and it takes about 40 to 60 days for them to hatch. The tarantula's diet consists of insects, other spiders, and anthropods. Their main predators are wasps, birds, snakes, and lizards. There are estimated to be over 50 species of tarantula in this genus. Tarantulas molt their exoskeleton as they grow. They are extremely vulnerable for several days until this new exoskeleton hardens. One of the main predators for this tarantula is the female tarantula hawk wasp. It stings the tarantula between the legs, paralyzes it, and then drags the tarantula to a specially prepared burrow, where a single egg is laid on the spider's abdomen, and the burrow entrance is covered. When the wasp larva hatches, it creates a small hole in the spider's abdomen, then enters and feeds voraciously, avoiding vital organs for as long as possible to keep the spider alive. After several weeks, the larva pupates. Finally, the wasp becomes an adult and emerges from the spider's abdomen to continue the life cycle. This is a popular species in the pet trade as they are docile and their bite is not harmful to humans. I picked the spider up to move him safely across the yard so that he wouldn't get stepped on or run over by any vehicles. I have seen him wandering around the yard for several evenings now and hope he finds a lady friend soon. Looking closely here, you could see his fangs and not once has he ever tried to bite me. The range of these tarantulas is California, Oregon, Nevada, Arizona, and northwestern Mexico. The habitat that these guys prefer 
is grasslands, grassy areas, forest edges, and chaparral, and the desert. This one is located in the Yuha Desert in Southern California. This genus of tarantula is considered to be of least concern by the International Union of Conservation of Nature in regard to population status. They are not protected in any part of their range and are not in need of large-scale protection effort. In regards to that, please show a little extra care when out hiking or off-roading during their mating season. I hope you enjoyed this little short video on our California ebony tarantula. Thanks for watching.